hi and welcome to Bible Buddy, day number 54. Uh, today we will start a new book. We will be reading uh, Numbers and we're reading chapter 1 and 2 today. And I must warn you that there are lots of names um, that I know that I won't be able to pronounce it right. So forgive me if I don't pronounce it right, but I'll do my best. Um, so let's pray. Dear Lord, open our mind to understand and our eyes to see. Open our hearts to receive all that you have for us and to, um, and to learn more about you and your love for us. May you receive glory and honor in all that we say and do. In Jesus' holy name we pray, amen. Um, okay, let's turn to Numbers chapter 1. Here we go. One day in mid-spring, during the second year after Israel's departure from Egypt, the Lord spoke to Moses in the tabernacle in the wilderness of Sinai. He said, Take a census of the whole community of Israel by their clans and families. List the names of all the men, 20 years old or older, who were able to go to war. And you and Aaron are to direct the project, assisted by one family leader from each tribe. These are the tribes and the names of the leaders chosen for the task. Reuben, the type Reuben, the leader is Eliezer, son of Shador. Simeon, Simeon. Shalumio, son of Jerz, da Dai. Judah, Nashon, son of Aminadab. Ishgar, Nathaniel, son of Zua. Shabunlan, Elab, son of Helon. Ephron, son of Joseph. Elishma, son of Aminhad. Manasseh, son of Joseph. Gamaliel, son of Pedazur. Benjamin, Abidan, son of Gideoni, Dan, Ahizer, son of Amishdadai, Asher, Pegu, son of Okram, God, Elisa, son of Duo, Naphtali, Ahira, son of Enon. These tribe leaders, heads of their own families, were chosen from among all the people. Now Moses and Aaron are in the chosen leaders called together the whole community of Israel on that very day. All the people were registered according to their ancestry by their clans and families. The men of Israel, 20 years old and older, were registered, one by one, just as the Lord has commanded Moses. So Moses counted the people there in the wilderness of Sinai. This is the number of men 20 years old or older were able to go to war, each listed according to his own clan and family. Reuben, Jacob's oldest son, 46,500. Simeon, 59,300. God, 45,650. Judah, 74,600. Issachar, 54,400. Zebulun, Zebulun, 57,400. Ephraim, son of Joseph, 40,500. Manasseh, son of Joseph, 32,200. Benjamin, 35,400. Dan, 62,700. Asher, 41,500. Naphtali, 53,400. These were the men counted by Moses and Aaron and by the twelve leaders of Israel, all listed according to their ancestral descent. They were counted by families. All of the men of Israel who were twenty years old or older were able to go to war. The total number was 603,550. But this total did not include the Levites. The, Le the Levites. For the Lord had said to Moses, exempt the tribe of Levi from the census. Do not include them when you count the rest of the Israelites. You must put the Levites in charge of the tabernacles of the covenant, along with its furnishings and equipment. 
They must carry the tabernacle and its equipment as you travel, and they must care for it and camp around it. Whenever the tabernacle is moved, the Levites will take it down and set it up again. Anyone else who goes near, too near the tabernacle will be executed. Each tribe of Israel will have a designated camping area with its own family banner. But the Levites will camp around the tabernacle of the covenant to offer the people of Israel protection from the Lord's fierce anger. The Levites are respons responsible to stand guard around the tabernacle. So the Israelites did everything just as the Lord has commanded Moses. Then the Lord gave Moses instructions to Mo Moses and Aaron. Each tribe will be assigned its own area in the camp, and the various groups will camp beneath their family banners. The tabernacle will be located at the center of these tribal compounds. The divisions of Judah, Issachar, and Zebulun are to camp toward the sunrise on each side of the tabernacle, beneath their family banners. These are the names of the tribes, their leaders, and the number of their available troops. Judah, the tribe of Judah. Nashon, son of Aminadab, 74,600. Issachar, Nathaniel, son of Zua, 54,400. Zebulun, Eliab, son of Helon, 57,400. So the total of all troops on Judah's side of the camp is 186,400. These three tribes are to lead the way whenever the Israelites travel to a new campsite. The divisions of Reuben, Simeon, and Gav are to camp on the south side of the tabernacle, beneath their family banners. These are the names of the tribes, their leaders, and the number of their available troops. Reuben. Eleazar, son of Shador, 46,500. Simeon, Shemumio, son of Jerish, Shaddai, 59,300. God, Elisaphat, son of Duel, 45,650. So the total of all the troops on Reuben's side of the camp is 151,450. These three tribes will be second in line whenever the Israelites travel. Then the Levites set out, will set out from the middle of the camp with the tabernacle. All the tribes are to travel in the same order that they camp, each in precision under the appropriate family banner. The divisions of Ephraim, Manasseh, and Benjamin are to camp on the west side of the tabernacle, beneath their family banners. These are the names of the tribes, their leaders, and the numbers of their available troops. The tribe Ephraim, Elishama, son of Amihad. 40,500. Manasseh, Gamaliel, son of Pedazur, 32,200. Benjamin, Abidon, son of Gideoni, 35,400. So all the total of our troops on Ephraim's side of the campus, 108,100. And they will follow the Levites in line of march. The divisions of Dan, Asher, and Naphtali are to camp on the north side of the tabernacle, beneath their family banners. These are the names of the tribes, their leaders, and the number of their available troops. Dan, a Heiser son of Amishadai, 62,700. Asher, Pagel son of Okran, 41,500. Natali, Ahira son of Enon, 43,400. So the total of all troops on Dan's side of the camp is 157,600, and they are to bring up the rear whenever the Israelites move to the new campsite. In summary, the troops of Israel listed in their families totaled 603,550. The Levites were exempted from this census by the Lord's command to Moses. So the people of Israel did everything just as the Lord has commanded Moses. Each clan and family set up camp, marched under the, their banners exactly as the Lord had instructed them. There you go. That was Numbers chapter 1 and 2. Um, see you tomorrow. Thanks.